Shalom. All praise is due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kwadash. The bonus and elect the possible bishop, the elders that great millstone that we will. Shalom to elect Aki out there, do work in sincerity and truth, and not for vain glory in season, out of season. I just want to bring this quick scripture out. Um, this is Genesis, the 25th chapter. Um, and I'll start at the, uh, I believe it's the 25th verse, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I just want to read this. No, excuse me, the 23rd verse. I'll start at the 23rd verse. And the Lord, and Yahweh, the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two men of people shall be separated from thy bowels. The one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. <clears throat> and that's the point <clears throat> that I'm trying to make. It says, <clears throat> it says, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be fulfilled, excuse me and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled behold there were twins in her womb the first came out red all over like an hairy garment and they called his name esau and after that came his brother out and his hand took hold on esau's heel and his name was called jacob and Isaac was three score years old when she bared them. Okay, you know, so who came out first? And 25 chapter and the 25th verse, and the first came out red all over like in hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Okay, so Esau came out first. Okay, but it says right here, in the 23rd verse and the elder shall serve the younger now this is the book of Genesis the 25th chapter so it was always destined for Esau and we know who Esau is you know vocab Malone he might try to deny who Esau is you know uh, you know Esau himself he might try to, he, he'll deny that he's Esau. He'll call himself everything under the sun except for Esau, which is his biblical name. And Esau is referring to who? The so-called white man, his race of people. Okay. So he was always destined to be a servant, to serve, to be a slave under the younger which is Jacob, okay? And Jacob represents the so-called black man, okay? Jacob's name was later changed into Israel, and he had 12 sons, which are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, you know? And they'll try to dispute this, saying, no, um, he was Jewish, you know? He was Jewish, you know what I'm saying? Jewish, okay, you know, not, not a so-called black man, all right, you know, but we know, according to the Bible, that um, Jacob was indeed a so-called black man, all right, okay, all right, from the tribe of Judah, from the tribe of Yahawada, okay, you know, like the scriptures say, all spring forth out of uh, Judah, saying it verbatim, you know. So, um, you know, he was always destined, destined to, uh, he was always, always destined to serve his brother, his younger brother, Jacob, which is a so-called black man. Okay. All right. So, you know, I just wanted to bring that out. Uh, 25, 25 in the first and the first came out red all over like in hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. Okay. Like a red hairy garment. You know. As he got older. Uh, 
he had all this red hair on his on his body, you know, you know, and he's literally read him himself. That's why he's also named Edom. The word Edom in the Hebrew is Adawan, which means red. OK, you know, you know, it says uh, 26 chapter. And after that came his brother out and his hand took hold on Esau's hill, meaning he's going to pull Jacob is going to pull Esau down out of his rulership. OK. And his name was called Jacob. And the reason why his name is called Jacob in the Hebrew is Yaquab, which means supplanter. He su supplanted Esau, which is a so-called white man, out of his birthright. So a so-called black man supplanted Esau, a so-called white man, out of his birthright. Because the firstborn gets inheritance of the father. Okay. Okay. You know. You know, so, um, yeah, he was always destined for Esau to serve uh, his brother Jacob. You know. And it's going to happen in the kingdom. Okay. All right. And there's many scriptures that go into that. OK, uh, let me see if I can find that. OK, uh, this is Book of Isaiah. 14 chapter. OK, and I will read the uh, second verse it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place in the house of Israel. Okay, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans shall possess them in the land of Yahweh, the Lord, for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. You know, so, you know, we're going to take the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and the rest of the northern kingdom, Ephraim, Gad, Manasseh, Reuben, Ishakar, Simeon. You know, we're going to take them captives who captives we were. We were captives under who? Well, we were the captives under all heathen nations, but also the so-called white man. Okay. You know, and we're going to rule over our oppressors. Who is our oppressors? The so-called white man. All the heathen nations are, but mainly the so-called white man right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it was always set up, you know, for Esau. And this prophecy hasn't happened yet. You know, when... We don't have um, so-called whites, <laughs> so-called white slaves right now. So, you know, this is the future prophecy. You know, the so-called black Latino and Native American man don't have so-called white slaves right now. We're slaves under them right now. So this is a future prophecy that's about to be fulfilled. Okay. So I hope you've been edified. And with that, Shalom.